my name is Hefin and you're watching the game vlog and this is the part 2 of how to use F model. In this video we're gonna take a deeper look into F model. We're gonna see how we only load new or modified game files. We're gonna see how we leak challenges and we're gonna see how we add our own watermark to the images that we export using F model. So let's first see how we just load the new and modified files in F model. So when you load all files, you get all the files, all the game files that are there, you know, you get all the cosmetics. Just make sure that your game mode is set to the local version and then you click on backup. So here what you've done is you're creating a backup of the current version of Fortnite using a model. So you get a success mes message saying that you know it's successfully backed up. Uh, you got to do this before you update Fortnite. So just you can you know you can just go to your Epic Launcher and just make sure that you turn off the auto updates so that you know you back up first and then you update your Fortnite. Once you've updated your Fortnite okay you're gonna go to f model and you're gonna say packages go to loading mode and just say new and modified files and you say load new and modified files now you're gonna see a pop-up box which will ask you to choose your backup so we're gonna choose the backup that we just did and now when you see F model has only loaded the new and the modified files from the current update so these are just the new and the modified files as you see these are just the new and the modified files you'll only see the new files now I'll just show you I'll just load all the files and I'll show you now this when I say default and I say load all and you go to directories and you go to cosmetics and you go here you'll see that you'll have all the files here okay so yeah you'll have all the old files too that means these are all the previous files and then you'll have to make you know you'll have to search for what you think has been added in this file in this update so instead of this F model gives you the features of just looking at the new modified files or the new and the modified files so if I say just new files and I say load new files again the same thing you pick up the backup this has to be before you updated Fortnite okay now when you see characters these are the new files now you won't see the modified files you'll just see the new files because we are loading only the new files same goes for the modified same goes for the new and modified files so this is pretty much how you know you just load the new or modified files using F model let's move to the next topic so now we're gonna see how we're gonna leak weekly challenges. So now we're gonna see how we leak weekly challenges. So I'm gonna just load the new and modified files. Now again just pick up the backup. Once the files are loaded you go to directories. Now if you go to this directory over here you actually won't see the challenges over there because ever since the new season the challenges are moved to this directory that is Fortnite game uh, sorry Fortnite game plugins game features battle pass season 15 content items and quest bundles so I have just added this over here and this are the weekly challenges now week 12 epic challenges these are the ones now 
Yeah. These are all the weekly challenges. Again, you go to uh, first you load the new and modified files, then you go to assets, go to directories, you go to uh, I created this directory so that's the reason why this is there otherwise if you're just loading if you're just downloading a model directly you won't see this okay so just just um, make note of the directory it is fortnite game plugins game features battle pass s15 content items quest bundles if you go to see this is where it is it's fortnite game plugins game features battle pass s15 content items quest bundles here yeah. this is where your weekly challenges are so now we're gonna see how we have or how we can add our own watermark to the images that we export using F model. So to do that, you go to settings, you go to icon creator, and from here, this is basically the design that we see over here. Okay, so from here you can just check the design, you know, do you want a default one, or you want no background, you want no text, you want minimalistic, or you want flat. I kinda like the flat design, so I just keep it at flat. You can also, you know, use the item shop icon. So if you don't want the item shop icon, you hide this. You show statistics, so it won't show you the statistics like these text. Now coming to the watermark. So here you say use watermark. And now if you uncheck this, your watermark hides. You know, add your own watermark. You click over here, and you add any images that you want to add from your computer. So in this case, I add this. Now this X and this Y axis is the positioning of the watermark where you want the watermark to be placed. So if I just slide this, you see, the logo moves. So that's how you place your logo wherever you want it to. Uh, scaling is the sizing. So if I want to increase the size of the logo, this is how it looks. Uh, and just keep it this way. Opacity is the transparency of the logo. So if you just keep it max, it's gonna be completely visible. If I just take it back here, it's gone. It's the transparency of the logo basically. And I just say okay. So if you click here, this is how the watermark appears on the image. So now you can just right click and you can just save this. Just save this image and just in case you want to add it all together. So, this is only for the uh, cosmetics. Again, okay, now let's see for the challenges. So, like you know, if you go here, I must have seen. Oh, wait, I just loaded the new file so it won't come. So, I'd say new and modified files, and let's load this. Now once it's loaded I go to challenges and here so as you can see the challenges the logo is over here and I have this um, you know use code rice TGV that's my code so if you use it you support me um, so this is this is how you oh, okay so I'm going to show you how you do this okay so you go to settings you go to challenge themes challenge challenges theme creator this is your text okay and this is your banner so i just added a transparent banner and i placed my logo right at this corner so i can actually use it so this is how you add it um, the colors you can set using this you can set the primary colors just change it to whatever you want the secondary colors change it to whatever you want and you have this colors added over here again your watermark you want the opacity however you want to be set and you click on ok so this is the challenges theme creator okay another thing that I want to show you is the image images merger so what what exactly this does is it adds up all the 
images so since I've just you know saved up all these things I can just click these and I open and it shows up like this and then you you know either open the image or you save the image okay so if you say open image this is how it looks so you know you can just share all these files together so this brings uh, to the end of this video I hope you enjoyed the video uh, I showed you how to load only the new and modified files I showed you how to add your own watermark to your um, to the images you export in F model I showed you how to merge the images together in one video so if you have any more questions please make sure you um, add them to the comment section below you can join my discord server the invite is in the description and I will see you next time bye bye Namaste to the world hey Hindustan on the map yeah double R is the KOG the Karuli on my arm got the Kuli in my palm Aratili Hindustan meri Puli o Katam Yatora who come Yatamam Pura Kam Mere Sam Niti Kane in the Puli and Saman Bot Chudi Bot Chudi Ego Chudi Raps a trap Industry Amigos Mere Circle Mina Square Koi Kier Koi Back to Back Mini Clan Kare We know Click Bow Get Down